Alright guys, welcome back. We have another question from chapter 4 and we solved the previous question before this question which was basically finding the moment of the force about point A and this question again we have the same pipe assembly and we need and we know that it's subjected to the force F and this question we need to and this time we need to determine the moment of the force about point B and before we start please make sure to subscribe to the channel and share this content with your friends that might find these uh, problems helpful and as always let me know if you have any specific question then we can cover it in the next videos and let's jump in so what we are trying to find in this question is finding the moment about point B and we know the moment will be the cross product of distance vector or position vector and the force and what we need to do to find is finding the uh, position vector first and as we covered in the previous question the line that connects the point that we are finding the moment about which in this question is point B to the line of action of the force which will be uh, this so any point any line that connects this point B to the line of action of the force can be our R and since the easiest one is the C since we have the coordinates of C uh, we're gonna go with point C so we have the position vector of RBC or we can show it like RC slash B and so what we are trying to find is RBC and all we need to do is to find the coordinates of C and subtract that by B and let's do the coordinates of C first so we have I, J, K and we have the same thing for B uh, let's start with the C, C what we have I'm gonna clean up the figure so we can see better uh, so let's go with the X component of the point C and as we can see B and C uh, are in the same plane of uh, Y, Z somewhere in here so this will be in the same plane which means the X in here is same as what we have in here so for C we have 0.5 for X component and as we can see B has the same X component too as they are in the same plane uh, next one let's move on to the Y component of the C which is what we have from here to here and if you want to find that we have uh, some distances that we can figure that out and we need this distance plus this distance which is 0.4 plus 0.7 so we get uh, 0.3 which will be 0.7 and we can see that point B is in XZ plane so there is no Y for point B and last one let's go to the Z component and as we can see we are in the negative side of the Z axis and we are uh, 0.3 down the XY plane so that would be for C and as we can see uh, the point B is on x-axis which means there is no uh, z component and if you do that we'll find uh, I'm just going to subtract each of these two and if you do that negative 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 we have 0 0.5 0 0.5 which is 0 for i we have 0 0.7 minus 0 0 0.7 for j and minus 0.34k and now that we have our we are good to go to go with 
Uh, the determinant that we have for finding the moment is going to clean up the figure what we have in here. So all we need to do is to find the determinant which uh, we have I, the first row is, uh, the second row in here would be R and the third would be F. What we have for I is, uh, for R is 0 for I component, 0 0.7 for J and minus 0.3 for K component or Z component and the force is already in the vector form in the question. We have 600 for I, 800 for J and minus 500 for K. And the rest of this will be finding this determinant. And if you want to do that for I component, we cover the I column and we have 0.7 times minus 500 minus minus 0.3 times 800 that would be our I uh, second we're gonna move to the J and don't forget to put a negative sign uh, for J component uh, this is coming from the the formula for finding the determinant so we have this time these two uh, together and these two together so we have 0 times minus 500 which is 0 minus 600 times minus 0.3 that would be our J and last one is the K and Finding the Z component, we're going to cover the Z column and we have 0 times 800 minus 0 0.7 times 600. And all we need to do is finding these three and we are good to go to find a moment. So if we calculate this, we'll get minus 110 for I, minus 180 for J, you know this will be 0, so we'll have and the last one again, this will be 0, minus 420K. And since all the for all the dimensions are in meter and the force is in newton, we'll have newton meter dimension for everything, and that would be the final answer for this question. Um, that would be it for this question, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you have any specific uh, problem in your mind that you need to help. Uh, you need help with and I'm going to cover it in the next videos and you guys take care I'll see you in the next one